are. So we're talking about a long and storied tradition at Grandfather Mountain. Of course, we're talking about the Highland Games returning to McRae Meadows tomorrow. Exciting. So they've been bringing a wee old bit of Scotland. How's that <laughs> accent, Brian? That was awful. Oh. <laughs> Five minutes to work on it. Maybe I can do it better in the outro. But of course, this Scottish? Is... Was it Irish? Was it, <laughs> you know? was it Jamaican? I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was a worldly accent. We'll just call it that for sure. now. Okay. Well, they're bringing Skyland and a bit of the high country here to North Carolina for 67 years now. And here to bring us up to speed. And is, hopefully help is us work Steve. on our accents. Yes, uh, hopefully, Steve. <laughs> Steve Quillen, he is the president for the games. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry Steve. for you having to suffer through that one. Yeah. Uh, well, so we know the games consist of traditional Scottish athletic competitions. What exactly are those competitions? What does this entail? Well, on the athletic side, it's all the traditional Scottish heavy events. The ones that the that the crowd would know is the the sheath toss, the hammer throw, the caber toss, the heavyweight for height, the the stone for distance. Um, all those uh, traditional events that came over from Scotland. And then at uh, Grandfather Mountain, um, which is pretty unusual for a Highland Games in the, in the States, we also have running events that uh, were traditionally, traditionally held at the Scottish Games. So we've got a 440 yard track and we have a, a kilted mile and we have uh, other, other races that uh, can be entered by the, by the amateur athletes that come in to, to run. The heavy athletes feature both the amateur and professional competition, both men and women. Okay, I like the concept of the mm -hmm. kilted mile. Yeah, I, me I too. That's what stuck with me, but <laughs> like the concept, I don't know about the actual uh, happening of it, but. <laughs> yeah. Steve, besides the athletic events that are going on, what else can visitors uh, enjoy if they've never been there before? Well, we've got a, a real three ring circus at Grandfather Mountain. <laughs> there are two groves with Celtic uh, music, traditional uh, Scottish uh, uh, Celtic music on, in one grove, and we feature more modern Celtic rock in the other grove. Um, we have uh, 140 Highland dancers this year. That's our largest competition ever. We have 127 solo pipers and drummers this year. That's also our largest entry ever. Uh, and then, of course, we feature the clan tents. We're the largest gathering of Scottish families in the world at Grandfather Mountain. And uh, this year we will have 103 different clans and families on the field. Uh, so people can go around and visit and learn about the, the history of their families and explore some of their Scottish connections while they're here at the games. And you just mentioned Grandfather Mountain. I mean, this seemingly is the perfect backdrop for an event like this. Mm -hmm. Can you sort of explain why you chose to hold the games here? Well, that that came from um, Agnes McRae Morton and Donald McDonald, who founded the games, co-founded the games. It was held in 1956 first. Donald had gone, was a newspaper reporter in Charlotte, and he had gone to Scotland to explore his homeland in 1954, and he came back home and wrote about it in the Charlotte paper. Agnes read it. Agnes had McRae Meadow, which she'd always thought was a perfect location for a gathering of the clans. She reached out to Donald. They put their heads together, pulled it together for August 19th, 1956, and the rest is history. Wow, that's awesome. And it, what it is, it does seem like a very perfect space for this. Uh, really quickly before we let you go, are there any other logistics you want folks to know about if they want to get up there, enjoy the activities there, not necessarily just compete, but mm -hmm. you know, see the music and the food and experience that as well? Yes, uh, so we start, we open up tomorrow at 4 p.m. and we'll have our traditional calling of the clans, the torchlight ceremony where I ask each family to send a representative out and declare themselves present. That's a, uh, that happens about dark tomorrow, and that's a, a really wonderful ceremony. And then we'll be wide open all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the games. We have um, shuttle lots located uh, in Sugar Mountain, Linville, Newland, North Carolina, and those uh, those people will all uh, all put people on shuttle buses and hop them up there and bring them back down. So we're we're all set up, we're ready to go, and uh, we really look forward to everybody coming. 
Well, we appreciate you so much for being with us this morning. And again, you at home, the Highland Games are starting tomorrow and they run through Sunday. To learn more information about admission, parking, the shuttle bus, you can call this number right here, 828-733-1333. Or if it's easier for you to go online, just visit that website that's there on your screen now, gmhg.org.